Hello, my name is Jeremiah Sumerian, and welcome to Harsh Critique. Today we're going to go over a draft by a fellow called Justin Helms, who left a comment on one of my videos with a draft that they wanted me to look at. So let's get started. Item number, SCP blank. Object class, safe. I'm not going to make a point about that. I guess I am going to make a point about this because I'm talking about it. I'm not going to make a big deal out of it because SCP blank is such a, a weird way to do it. I mean, you could just put XXXX like most people do or I don't know anything else. SCP blank is to be under constant surveillance from MTF Papa 11, codename Timogen. Undercover Foundation personnel are to maintain the appearance of construction workers and inspectors, with the cover story of the building being renovated to keep the public at bay. First of all, we're going to stop right here. You've already screwed up with the clinical tone. Now, some of this is okay. Are to maintain the appearance of construction workers is great. But using the phrase cover story, I mean, when you use the phrase cover story, that generally indicates that there's I don't know, a story? When you just say that the cover story is the building is being renovated? That's not a story, really. That's just an excuse. And, by the way, your special containment procedure should indicate some sort of long-term solution. Renovation can keep people at bay for several years, maybe, but you're not going to keep the public at bay for much longer than that without them going, why is this still being renovated? You're actually going to increase people's interest in looking at this fucking site more than you're going to decrease it. So think of a better solution to this. Any individual who breaches containment of SCP blank is to be detained and, oh my god, administered an amnestic of appropriate strength as determined by MTF Papa 11's captain or the highest ranking foundation personnel on site. Amnestics are not a catch-all solution to every problem you have. And in fact, they kind of ruin a lot of the possible consequences you can come up with. If you can lie to people and tell them that a building is being renovated and they should keep out and someone breaches containment and comes in anyway, tell them another lie. Jesus Christ. You don't have to apply the neuralizer to their fucking brain and scramble it. crutch is all amnestics have become a crutch for poor storytelling scp blank is a market on the outskirts of Ulan Bator, mongolia if an individual is on the shelf there's 43.7 percent likelihood how many tests do you have to run to get down to a point to to a tenth of at least a thousand no you you hold on 47.43.7 would require you to do thousands of tests, not just 1,000. What? Oh, well, this is even worse. So, okay. There's a 43.7% likelihood that they'll instantly turn into a duplicate of the object they picked up. If the item features any form of text or complex pattern, there's an additional 87.5% chance that a message from the individual will be visible. <laughs> oh, man. See, okay, yeah. Oh, man. You know how much testing you have to do to get these kinds of numbers? Wow! And not just not just thousands to get 43.7%. Of those... <laughs> of the thousands of tests you did to get that number, you also had to do thousands... There literally needed to be thousands more successful tests where they actually got turned into a duplicate of the item they picked up in order to get that 87.5% chance that those people... <laughs> and it had to be thousands of tests specifically involving items with text or complex designs. Oh my god. Oh wow. Thousands of people. They threw thousands tens maybe even tens of to get these kinds of exact numbers for the like the down the line <laughs> you had to throw tens of thousands of individuals at this and turn them into objects oh boy as i don't I hope i don't have to explain how fucking stupid that is but 
you know, that's pretty fucking stupid. Uh, addendum SCP blank dash one discovery. On a pro. <laughs> oh no. Oh, <laughs> black boxes everywhere. <laughs> why? Just why? I see the black boxes on here and I go, why? On June 14, 2007, Agent Ben Williams was vacationing in the city of Alain Bator with his brother Kellen. At approximately 1,400 hours, Kellen went approximately 1,400 hours. Kellen went into a market to purchase a black box, black box brand soft drink. It's two words. One word's longer than the other word. I'm sure if I really wanted to, I could figure out what this is, but I don't fucking care. And neither would the foundation. What does it matter? the brand was while agent williams stayed outside after approximately 15 minutes agent williams began to you meant you didn't capitalize agent that time but you capitalized it last time i'm not entirely sure you need to capitalize agent williams i know it's a title so yeah you, you capitalize the a and agent agent williams began to grow impatient and went inside to hurry to hurry his brother like clinical tone problems only to see two <laughs> black box black box bottles on the ground next to his brother's sunglasses didn't change his sunglasses left them behind how very cinematic of you when agent williams picked up the bottle instead of the name on the soft drink instead of the name of the soft drink the bottle displayed the words ben where am i can you see me i feel wet where am i ben <sighs> wait hold on a second vacationing in Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia? Suddenly, it just hit me that this is, like, the worst po- <laughs> uh, Sir, I'd like to take a vacation next week. Sure, uh, out of curiosity, where are you going? You don't have to tell me, but, you know, where are you going? Well, I was thinking I was going to go visit the biggest city in Mongolia. Okay. Um... Any particular reason? Oh, you know, it's a it's a good tourist place. <laughs> tourist trap. Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia. The tourist trap of Central North Asia. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow. Well, it's almost in the... It's almost in Siberia. That's why it's such a great place to vacation. Almost in Siberia. Not quite in Siberia. <sighs> Let's look at the testing logs. Oh my god. Uh, I'm not gonna go in. I'm not gonna say these fucking numbers. I'll say it once. Subject D84563. Procedure. The D class. Um, he didn't say the D class. He said D whatever. Instructed to enter SCP blank and pick up one long black box brand soft drink. Results. He transformed into a second bottle of. <laughs> black box brand soft drink with the phrase is this what hell is like that's real subtle thanks i love it when people just smack the message of the <laughs> they have a message it's very important that you understand this message and to so make sure that you understand it i'm gonna smack you upside the head with it motherfucker. no way i would like i do i, I would signif i would not like to put it in this in a way that makes it seem realistic or Oh, I don't know. Like, the reader is discovering something interesting. No, I'm going to make sure, make it clear that they understand that a writer wrote this. And if that writer was me, is this what hell is like? Fuck you. It seems the analysis, it seems the market itself, rather than the original bottle, is anomalous. Recommend SCP blank be redefined due to this new information. A different D-Class instructed in the demo to touch one apple, exited the vicinity, and returned to regular duties. Simply making it's not enough to trigger the anomalous effect. Oh, so they gotta pick it up. Extraneous testing logs emitted for brevity. Please see document SCP blank C-47 for a full list of tests. Extraneous testing logs emitted for brevity. Please see document SCP blank C-47 for a full list of tests. Subject unmanned testing drone. Procedures. Subject entering blank. I'm sorry. Subject entered blank. Uh, SCP blank and picked up one black box brand bag of chips. These are really long black boxes too, so the, whatever's behind it is not the right word, I don't think. Like, they can't all be this long, right? Maybe they could, I don't know the fuck knows. Oh, anyway. 
Drone exited the vicinity and underwent inspection. No negative effects discovered. Effects blah, 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 blah. Approximately 43.7% of the time, the effect will be triggered. And that's it. There's literally all of it. There's a f little note at the bottom here for me. Let's take a look at it. I'll say what they had to say. Fourth wall break. I'm thinking about changing the location somewhere more touristy. <laughs> well, that's something. At least you understand that <laughs> some city in northern Mongolia isn't a great choice. And possibly changing from the item having a certain percentage chance to change to only... Wait, let's understand what they're saying here. Changing it from any item having a certain percentage chance to change a victim to only the highest quality item? So if you try to take the best for yourself, you some... Oh, okay, like a... Oh no, you got greedy. Okay, fuck it. Ugh. You want feedback on that idea? That's not what we're doing right here. I'm critiquing the draft. Like, you have some interest, like, you have, I mean, there's some interesting ideas in here, but seriously, fuck off. Like, overall, you know what your problem with your draft is, that it doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't do anything. There's nothing, there's no there there. Like, you're like, I, you don't have a story that draws the reader in. You don't have a story that makes me want to know what the hell's gonna happen next. <laughs> and even if you did have something at the end that was worth my time... I can't believe that's the end of it. It's just like, yep, it's a place, it's a market where you pick up stuff and it turns you into the stuff. Really, like, 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 test logs, three different test logs, all of them literally just confirming information you already had in the description. And the description is one paragraph long. With, again, incredible amounts of people must have been thrown at this thing in order to get these numbers. I, I'm still stuck on that because it's so ridiculous 43.7 percent likelihood you're down to a point to a tenth of a percent of certainty on two different numbers first one doesn't even give you just just no just no there's no story here the end and and, and you don't have to have a story i always say there's no story here whatever but obviously you've got an an idea in mind and, oh, well okay there is a story here some scp agent went on vacation in northern mongolia and <laughs> his brother got turned into a bottle of some drink because he picked up a bottle <laughs> and that's it that's your story <sighs> man i'll give you this for free because you know what <laughs> this is fucking terrible your story very well could be in Agent Ben Williams, the guy whose brother was disappeared, trying to get his brother back. Follow him in the testing logs. Follow him. This is a very, very simple piece of advice. and It's very easy to fix most issues with a boring draft if you pick out someone and you have a character Pick out someone, give them a motivation, and then follow them throughout your SCP and show them either getting or not getting what they want. That's the thing. Build a character, focus on the character, and you will solve half of your problems. Now, I don't know that you can solve all of your problems because the writing here is terrible, but you can solve some of them. If you liked it, please hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see more content like this, head on over to my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash dsumerian like all the people on the screen right now. These people have pledged and made sure that this kind of content keeps getting made. And if you'd like to have your draft harsh critiqued, leave a comment down below. I will have a pinned comment at the top of the comment section asking for drafts. Reply with a sandboxed draft. I don't accept drafts that aren't in a sandbox anymore, so... Make sure you actually put it in a sandbox first. And most of all, thank you for watching.